I've been the Administrative Director of Pulmonary Services here at St. Dominic since January of 1992. I worked here initially as a student back in the mid-80s and just had a, a place in my heart that knew this is where I needed to be. When a representative came in and, and showed me the device for the first time, I'll be honest, I was initially taken aback a little bit by the price tag. But then when I saw a demonstration of the product, it suddenly made a lot of sense. There was a lot of clarity. It was an aha moment. I knew that we could indeed make a difference with outcomes for in-hospital cardiac arrest. Since product inception back in 2006, early 2006, we've used the rescue pod on over 800 patients. Out of all the patients that a device is initially used on, we're able to discharge 28% of those patients successfully from the hospital, compared to a national average of 17% survival, which is a needle that hasn't moved since I've been a respiratory therapist. That is substantial. What it means to, in lay terms, is for every 10 times a device is used, we discharge one more person alive than the average hospital in America. The rescue pod has absolutely had an impact on results in patient satisfaction, family satisfaction, therapist satisfaction, nurse satisfaction, because more so than anything we've ever done as a respiratory therapist, we see something we're doing making a measurable difference. Our rate of survival to discharge from patients experiencing in hospital cardiac arrest is 63% greater than the average hospital in America. If you're a patient and you've got to pick somewhere to have a cardiac arrest, this is where you want to be. We had one gentleman uh, who ac actually underwent a, a cardiac arrest at his work site. He was flown to St. Dominic from about 120 miles away. When he got here, uh, we immediately placed him on the rescue pod, took him to the cath lab, and the guys up walking around today actually making television commercials for St. Dominic Hospital because of his experience. One of the items that really played a, a huge factor in us determining to use the rescue pod was the fact that over 300,000 patients die from in-hospital cardiac arrest across America every year. That's 300,000 too many. We know we can't save them all, but we know we can save some. The, the rescue pod, along with the new guidelines for CPR, from the American Heart Association work together to help us make a huge impact. To have literally dozens of people walking around as a result of what we've done, the research we've done, the approaches we choose to take care of our patients versus what we were doing five years ago is incredibly gratifying. Healthcare is a very challenging field and when you can do something that can make the kind of difference on a sustained basis that we've been able to make over the past five years, you want to grab it, you want to hold on to it, you want to share it. That's why I'm as willing as I am to tell a story, because this is probably having as large an impact as anything on patient outcomes that I've ever done in nearly 30 years as a respiratory therapist.